for summer, some organization DIYs, and just some cool DIYs just to spice up your room. So our first way of spicing up our room is just adding Christmas lights to the room. The second way to spice up your room for summer is adding like a bright tapestry. And I had basically bought this tapestry back when I was um, at like my dorms. And it was like only $25. Now, if I know like tapestries are pretty expensive. So like if you have like local flea markets, you should probably go over there and see how much they are. Because I know they're probably cheaper than Urban Outfitters, which is around like $50 to $60. And basically I'm just pinning this up. And as you guys can see, it looks really nice against my wall color. And I also just tied it at the bottom to give it a little bit more of a shape. For this DIY, you'll need cardstock, paper, scissors, and command strips, and a frame. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking my cardstock and I'm measuring against the back of the frame so it can be the same size. And I'm taking that extra streak just to cover that little brown spot right there. After fitting in the card slot, that's what it should look like. And then I had to put the command strips on the back. Now that we have our frame done, now you can write what you need to do on it. And basically, I just wrote all of my to-dos and like my bills on it and everything like that. And I also put washi tape just to separate everything. So for this DIY, you'll need paint, frames, and a brush. And basically, you see me just painting like my old frames from they were gold but now they're gonna be white because my room color is basically white with pop of color so basically after painting the two frames white I had took a K I had got from Michaels for five dollars and I had basically hot glue gun baked flowers onto it and then I sticked it onto my wall with command strips and I did the same thing with the frame. So for this DIY, you'll need a plate, paint brushes, Mod Podge, glitter, and paint, and a glue gun, and command strips, command hooks. So basically, I painted the paint white. I mean, to get it opaque, you'd have to like do three coats if you're gonna use this color. And instead of keeping it plain, I got some washi tape and just created a cool little like pattern as you guys can see. And basically I used a small paintbrush so that it'd be easier to paint the um, color against like the washi tape barriers. So basically after your paint is dry, you just want to remove the tape. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. But I see your every thought What a way Now this next step is optional but you're gonna need like two small paint brushes for this next step of the DIY. So basically you can just see me recreating the circle or like the dent circle that you see in the plate and when recreating the circle of whatever plate you're doing or basically recreating anything just be generous with 
the Mod Podge so that your glitter can stick. Now you just pour the glitter on top of all that Mod Podge and just move it around. So basically after doing like the glitter stuff and dumping the glitter off the plate, I had took this hot glue gun and I basically just hot glue gunned three of the hooks that I will be using. And that's basically it for this DIY. It's too late to call me now. It's too late to call me now. It's too late. Now you have a new necklace holder for your wall for this summer. And I love it. Subscribe and like. And see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed.